Well, boys, today's video is sponsored by bullying, but not just any bullying, a whole social media tirade against a company and its games. Because for some reason, Overwatch 2 and Activision Blizzard thought they were going to get away with their crimes against humanity with these item shop prices slash bundle, quote unquote, whenever it's not a bundle if you can't buy everything individually. Until now, Overwatch 2 finally added in a brand new, quote unquote, feature where you can now buy items individually instead of in a bundle. It's kind of weird how you start off with the bundle and then you sell the items individually. It seems like you're kind of working backwards there. But to be honest, they get zero props for actually adding this in because it should have been there in the first place. Why would you sell a bundle where you can't buy any of the items individually? They literally did this because they got backlash. If no one cared about this, they would have kept the bundles and they would have kept doing this. Now, this also doesn't absolve them of any legal troubles that they might face in the future because of their discounts on the bundles because you can't discount something that was never on sale in a few countries so i would like to see where this goes in like you know a few months to a year's time whenever they bring up another bundle that's you know discounted hopefully some legal body out there takes these motherfuckers to court and make them stop these disgusting practices it's just so garbage how they think no one's gonna buy any of the souvenirs weapon charms profile icons <laughs> because we don't want any of it we just want the skins but they want to upcharge you so obviously they're gonna add in a couple more things in there to make it look like oh you know what maybe 26 dollars for one skin that i care about might be worth it with all this extra bs in it I guess Blizzard thought they were untouchable after the whole Diablo Immortal debacle because guess what? None of the practices ever changed the Diablo Immortal. We complained about it and they never touched it because they know we don't play the games. But guess what? We don't play Diablo Immortal. But guess what we do play? We will be playing Diablo 4 when it comes out. We do play Overwatch 2 right now. A lot of people are playing World of Warcraft. Guess what people don't like in any of those games? Mobile gotcha games transactions. We hate them. We hate them. If there's one thing that Blizzard needs to learn is you can make all the bullshit you want for all your mobile games, we're not gonna touch them. But as soon as you come into the PC gaming space, slash even console gaming space, we aren't gonna be dealing with that. We already pay money for the game, and they're gonna be like, pay us more money? No, no, stop trying to sell us BS we don't want at an exorbitant price. You know what, even if the skins were drop dead gorgeous to die for, if you charged it for 40 bucks, everyone's gonna be looking at you sideways like, what the hell is wrong with you? And then on top of that, I like how it took them only a week to put out a patch for the shop. But Torbjorn and Bastion were out of the game for like two, three weeks. Like, I think you need to get your priorities straight here, Blizzard. Like, yeah, you need to make your money, but also you need characters in the game to make that money. I swear, they're trying to sell us like NFT skins of the heroes in the game. Like, why would we buy a skin for someone like Mei who just got removed? Like, yeah, she's gonna come back, but if she has an item in the shop and I can't use it right now whenever I buy it, why would I wanna buy it? I'm like, just imagine this. Your favorite character, Genji, gets a brand new skin. You just spent $30 on it. And then he gets disabled. And you can't play him in ranked or in regular casual matches. You're gonna be hot. You're gonna be mad. You just spent $30 on some pixels you can't even use. And trust me, Blizzard ain't gonna be waiting for no balance patches to be patching the shop. If they need to change something, they are gonna change it right away. They ain't gonna be waiting for the mid-season balance patch, you guys. You know, we can't bring May back into the mid-season balance patch. But oh, the shop's down? Hold up, we on it. We on it right now. Man, man, I hate that they just make all the wrong decisions with overwatch 2 you can tell that they put a lot of work into the actual game because the game is fun but slowly and surely a lot of players are losing just patience with it and a lot of them are just moving away and going back to their old games like valorant or apex legends i feel bad for the ones that have to go back to league of legends but i may have to go back i mean like at this point at least riot gives me what i want but boys this is the end of the video hopefully overwatch 2 fixes their greedy practices and gets back to making an actual good game like overwatch 1 was but other than that don't forget to like subscribe and here's some more content for your faces boys